guys, Jeremy here from, I just spit a little bit. What's up guys, Jeremy here from RC Militia. And I have a parts unboxing for you guys. Uh, I've already opened the box and checked out what's inside. Um, but, reason you guys haven't seen me for so long is because I have been hanging out with my friends that I haven't seen for 10 years, nor have met for 10 years. We met each other online through a video game. Uh, you may, some of you may think it's dorky or whatever, I really don't give a shit. Um, but uh, they're a great bunch of guys, uh, Kyle and Mitch. Um, uh, Kyle's from Iowa, Mitch is from Chicago, they came here, and I didn't want to film any videos. We did one live stream, the very first live stream we did, we were going for a hike with the RCs and stuff like that. So that's why you haven't seen me, um, and that, and I've been resting my back and hurt my back while they were here, but also that's part of the update, part of this, part of the title of this video, the title's down there now, yeah, yeah, always has been for a while now. Okay, so, um, but with that said, uh, RC Mart is sponsoring the uh, the Ascender build and if you don't know I am having a kind of a comparison slash build off thing with uh, Isaac from RC in Motion and I'll put his link in the description below as well um, he's still waiting on his SCX 10 2.0 kit uh, and I had decided to stop the build <clears throat> until he got his kit in I've only got the transmission built and then that's gonna be coming apart because of something else in the box that the RC launch sent us. So the first thing is is this bumper. Uh, it's the blazer winch uh, the blazer winch bumper for the ascender. It's all steel, really heavy. It has a hole for your lead on your winch, right? Uh, you guys probably can't see it with the plastic, but regardless this thing's big and heavy and it's nice. Add some weight to the front of the car, that's always good for crawlers, I'm assuming. I mean, that's what I always gone with. Okay, and then they sent me one pair of shocks instead of two pair of shocks. They kind of messed up, I think, and didn't send the two pairs, but I'll just contact them and they'll send me the second pair, hopefully. Um, these are aluminum bodied. Uh, I didn't didn't look like it at first, but they are aluminum bodied. They're just very, very dark black. Uh, it almost gives a look of plastic, but they're not. And they feel like they'll be pretty good for crawling without taking them out of the package. So these are the Viterra K5 Ascender. Aluminum front and rear adjustable dampers, and they are made by GPM. Like I said, from RC Mart. I'll, send, I'll shoot the links to everything in the description below, including Isaac's channel. And then we got the, uh, by we, I always say we, I refer to the channel as we and me and Jamara, even if she's not here. Uh, so we have the MIP X Duty C Drive uh, kit for the uh, Viterra. This, I have heard, goes out on the Viterra as well. So, um, but I mean, what doesn't go out on RC cars? Um, I also do want to get the Axial SCX-10 II, just to, just, just because, and see how it how it fares to the uh, Ascender. But so I got these bad boys. We all know what they are. Most of us have them on our cars. I'm pretty sure. One, I'm pretty sure. Damn near everybody has had bought MIP before, and they are great. I stand by them 100%. So we also got the uh, Hack Moto. Uh, this so the Hacktronic. Uh, electronic speed controller, and then we got the Hack Moto um, motor. So I guess we'll open these up real quick, and I'll show you what they look like. And the exact—I'm not sure if they tell you exactly what it is on. There we go. On the box here. Okay, it's the Hack Moto uh, XT8 21.5 turn 540 brushless censored motor. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out. Um, the stuff that I have um, from Hack Moto so far, uh, which is uh, yeah, it's a Yeah Racing brand. It's Yeah Racing, made by Yeah Racing. Um, so tape, come on. There we go. So basically, it looks like the it looks extremely similar, and these are easy to weld too, or easy to weld, easy to solder on connectors too, which is really nice. Um, so here it is, it's the, the, like I said, the Hackmoto, it's 21.5 turn brushless censored motor, which is, ah, there goes my back again, sorry guys, you're gonna hear that noise from time to time, and then a few videos to come. Um, okay, so there's that, and then we've all seen an ASC, so I'm not gonna pull that out of the box. Eh, what the hell, pull it out of the box for you guys. Okay. So like I said, this is the Hacktronic by Yeah Racing. Um, and of course, Max Amps will be powering all this. So you get some stickers in there. They give you a small fan, which I will be using to stick on there. Um, already comes pre-wired with beans, which is good. 
And like I said, this these are super easy to solder. You the the these the ends just literally lay down perfectly in a little like U-shaped cutout on the on their motors, and it, they just go together so well. And I hate soldering. And for me to say something solders well, <laughs> that's that's saying something. And it also does have their a little uh, BEC type of thing on there. So the fan, all that good stuff. And those are the parts that we have acquired from RC Mart so far for the Viterra Ascender. Uh, let me get this put back in the box and then I'll talk to you guys for a minute here and I'll call it a video. And probably gonna call it a night too. It's actually, uh, oh crap, I don't even know what time it is around here, but <laughs> it's later than normal for me for making a video, that's for sure, I can tell you that. I'm surprised all that stuff in that little last box. But like I said, gotta contact them about uh, the shocks, because there are two sets of shocks, not one. Okay, so I'm gonna take a drink real quick and then I'll explain to you what happened in the back. Okay, so it's a good thing that Isaac's uh, kit is not gonna be here for a while uh, because I done effed up my back again by being a stupid jackass and not thinking of what I was doing when I was doing it. And we decided to go, my friends and I, we decided to go to one of these was extreme trampoline places. Well, I'd call it extreme for what I did. <laughs> uh, it's one of the extreme trampoline places and I have two herniated slash bulge discs in my back. I have this thing where you can jump and jump and jump and then you eventually dunk your basketball into uh, the basketball hoop, but I couldn't do that because, well, I'll show you a little bit of footage right here. What you gotta do in order to get it? Just jump. So there you guys go, that's where I hurt my back. It may not look like much, but it was a lot. As soon as I came down, I could feel it. It felt like a spring was just compressed and it, it won't decompress. Um, my left leg right now is currently numb. Um, well, part of my leg and then three of my toes, so the pinky toe, the one next to it, and the one after that, they're all numb. Uh, I get twinges, num numbing twinges in my back, so this arm goes numb once in a while. But my lower back is just killing me, so bending over and working on kits is not gonna be an option for me right now. I'm guessing, with the steroids uh, that they gave me. I should be up and running within a week, probably, most likely. Uh, it, it honestly hurts just to sit here and do this video right now, to be honest. But uh, with that said, you know, be patient, guys. I'll still be making, and we got another unboxing video to do, and then I'm, I may be able to get out and do some running videos as long as I'm not moving a lot. It's gonna be have to, Jamara's, literally, I'm just gonna be the driver. Jamara's gonna have to go get the car and everything because walking up and down hills, walking, everything, just, it hurts right now. So, with that said, the kit builds are gonna, they're gonna be delayed by about, I don't know, and whenever Isaac gets his in, and then whenever my back gets better. So, that's just kind of the update, and that our hiatus, I already told you why we were gone for a little while. Um, we were coming really strong there for a while, then my friends came over, and I wanted to take a break, didn't want to do anything work-related or anything like that, and uh, so, so yeah, we did do a live stream, though, I don't know if I mentioned that, but we did do a live stream that was on Facebook, of just us hiking and having fun, and shenanigans being had <laughs> uh, so if you guys want to go and check out that and just go ahead and go to the RC Militia group face or Facebook group page check that out and just watch us being a bunch of jackasses and having fun but isn't that what RC is all about it's supposed to, be, it's supposed to be all professional all the time and all that stuff that's why I keep my channel light and do videos like these so with that said guys I think I will see you on the next one uh, don't make fun of me for getting injured so easily because I already had two herniated discs the doctor already made fun of me I had to go to urgent care and he's like what the hell were you thinking that's like the worst thing you could do for your for your back hundred percent he's like it's the most high impact thing you could possibly do <laughs> with two herniated discs so and what it did was the herniated disc uh, he thinks is what it did because everything looks fine on the x-rays compared to like, I have a shitty back, but, so basically, it looks like a shitty back, but uh, one of the discs turned to the left, and when it turned to the left, it pinched a nerve, which caused sciatica for me. That's why I'm having the numbness and all that kind of stuff, uh, and headaches as well, so. 
hasn't been pleasant, but uh, it was it was definitely worth it, and it was a fun experience that I'll never do again. But but at least I could say I did it. Um, and it, to any of you with bad backs out there, don't do anything like that. It's, it's, it was probably worse for me than doing a deadlift. But uh, with that said, I've rambled on enough, as I always do, and we will see you on the next one, guys. Thank you for tuning in, and stay tuned because Jamaris come over this weekend, and we're gonna have some videos up, hopefully, depending how that feels. All right, guys, later. Ow.